To begin the movement phase, select a unit that you would like to move. Every model in the game has a movement stat. A model can be moved in any direction to a distance equal to that stat in inches. So a model with a move stat of 4 can move 4 inches, and a model with a move stat of 12 can move 12 inches. This rule also applies to models moving vertically over terrain and obstacles, so climbing a 1 inch wall will cost 1 of your total available movement. During this movement, it is important to remember that you cannot move a model within 3 inches of an enemy model. If your movement phase begins and you are already within 3 inches of an enemy, you may choose to remain stationary or retreat. A retreat move allows you to leave combat. You may move up to your full movement value and must end your movement at least 3 inches away from any enemy models. Models that retreat are not able to charge or shoot later that turn. When choosing units to move, you may elect for a unit to run. Declare the unit that is running and roll one six-sided die. Add that die result to the model's move stat, and that is the number of inches that your models or unit may move this turn. This boost in speed comes at a cost though, as a unit that runs may not shoot or charge later in the turn. Some models have the flying special rule. Models that fly ignore terrain and other models when determining the distance they can travel. Flying models still cannot end their movement within 3 inches of an enemy model. This rule simply allows them to move over terrain and obstacles to get into harder reach positions. A unit can always elect to remain stationary once all your units have moved and the movement phase ends. Next we will explore the shooting phase. Please subscribe for more great AOS content and happy wargaming.